Hey folks, it's Fernando doing another video for the Mars Survivalist and very excited about this flashlight. This is one that I've been looking forward to for, for quite some time to be honest. I really wanted to have this one and, and show it to you guys and actually uh, carry it myself for my uh, keychain light. This is the Through Night T, latest uh, flashlight by Through Night with a, a Merry Christmas holiday season motif. Little box here, Through Night T and inside guiding you through the night you have the little little manual and the flashlight itself I wanted something like this because I'm um, a fan of titanium for for, uh, for for flashlights I have my Olight i3s EOS as my keychain light but as you see when you have a aluminum in spite of the anodized finish and such it always ends up looking you know worn and such titanium on the other hand always looks great it's it is just a uh, a very noble uh, a fantastic material for something that's going to be used every day and it's going to be wearing in such a way so titanium from the start is something that i really do like in in any of my EDC gear. Besides that, this one in particular is using the latest Cree LED, which is, I was reading yesterday on, on Cree's website, according to Cree, it's 50% more efficient than the uh, previous generation of LEDs. So that's quite a bit of a step forward. And the numbers show something uh, along those lines. It's, it's actually amazing the amount of, of light that they're getting out of these things um, with the latest LEDs. Let's read here in the manual. <coughs> Features and specifications. Small but powerful one uh, AAA flashlight. Max output uh, to 162 lumens. That's, that's just crazy. 162 lumens out of a a simple double a triple a battery is it's crazy it's simply unthinkable uh, just a few years ago i mean this is not a, an old flashlight this is the, the previous generation the xpg2 and you were getting 80 lumens out of this 80 lumens and that was nice enough now 162 lumens sure it should be maybe with a, some of the rechargeable in the loop batteries uh, at at maximum charge and such but you're still talking about an amazing amount of of, of lumens out of a keychain flashlight, a small keychain flashlight. Four output modes, Firefly, Low, High, and Hidden Strobe. Okay, so it's a Firefly, Low, High, and Hidden Strobe. Basically, there's no uh, medium, just a low. The low should be pretty bright because uh, LED Cree XP-LV4 LED with a lifespan of 20 years of runtime. The XP-L is the latest LED. If you're buying these days um, um, an LED flashlight, I really do advise you to look carefully and get this uh, Cree XP-L type of LED. It is uh, quite a bit more uh, efficient than the previous one. It's gonna be running for more time. It's gonna be brighter in this type of flashlight. So it is uh, really a step forward from the, the previous XPG2s. Okay, this is brand new stuff. Uh, I just got it, so it's uh, maybe even a little bit of an exclusive because I, I haven't seen a, a video yet of the uh, Through Night T titanium flashlight. Dimensions: seven, uh, 70 millimeters of length, 14 millimeters head diameter. Very small. You know, it just looks very compact, and it actually is as compact as it looks. Very light because of the titanium construction as well. Weight 16 grams without battery, orange peel reflector gives perfect flood. It is very nice, yeah, and the titanium alloy TC4 body yeah, with polished finish, waterproof to IPX8 standards, convenient twist switch for one head oper operation. Okay, we're gonna be trying that later. Output and runtime. This is what I'm talking about. Firefly, 0 0.5 lumens for 115 hours. 0 0.5 lumens is, is something that uh, through night is using a standard. I'm really getting used to it. It's a, it, it's a, a very nice amount of light for, uh, for when it's dark and you just want to see and you don't want to disturb anyone and of course you're getting amazing run times with 0 0.5 lumens but it's enough to see and it's not burning you, uh, it's not burning your eyes in terms of, of impairing your night vision. It's just enough for you to see whatever it is that you're looking for 
move up, move around, find whatever it is that you're doing and such. And yet, when you turn it off, yeah, you're not blinded or you know it's not bothering you. So it's a very nice, very useful type of light. Low, it's 12 lumens, which is really not that low if you think about it. 12 lumens is actually. You know, would be yeah, indeed, a more of a, a utility type of light um, in case you have to m maybe do a little bit of of work or some task, and you need a, a little bit more light than just the, the firefly, which is just good enough to see. With 12 lumens, 6.3 hours, and on high, 162 lumens, 0 0.5 hours. Crazy. For strobe, you have it as a, as a hidden mode. Strobe, 162 lumens for one hour. It's just crazy. Accessories, you have um, a spare O-ring. Let's check what we have here. We have the clip. And you have a little bag here with your spare O-ring and attachments as well. Little keychain so as to attach it to your, to your flashlight. Operation. Turn on, turn off. Easily twist the heads to turn on and off. Tighten the heads for on and loosen for off. Simple enough. Change modes. When the light is on, turn off the light and then turn on in two seconds to change output mode. Has a memory mode as well. Um, I'm not real, very familiar with these type of, of memory modes and keychain lights. Um, keep the light off between two and ten seconds and then turn it on. The light will return will turn on in the latest mode accessed except for strobe. Over 10 seconds and, it, and, and then turn on, the output will be back to low. Okay, that's, that's good enough. Hidden strobe, screw on and off the head for 6 times to activate hidden strobe, 162 lumens, 13 hertz. Insert a battery with the anode plus towards the LED assembly, assembly head of the light, screw the tail, on and tighten, okay. Doesn't say anything about working voltages as far as I can see here. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. Working voltage is 0 0.9 to 3 volts. Not sure if uh, lithium ion batteries would be advised here or not. It's not saying anything specifically there. Maybe if someone wants to <laughs> be brave enough and try it out and let me know. Uh, I'm happy enough with the, the amount of power I'm getting out of a simple. A triple A battery, so I'm not going to be risking using anything uh, uh, more powerful than that. Let's give it a try. Okay, so Firefly mode. Yeah, indeed, you have a little bit of an orange peel. This latest LED is so so nice. Makes for a very big hot spot okay so that's the memory mode the last one they use again this is the low the low 15 lumens and this is a hundred and you, you don't get I'm gonna be doing a, a bounce on, on the wall so as to show you guys how it looks okay here we go Alright, there's still a little bit of, of daylight, so it's not going to be... Okay, let's get this a little bit more leveled. That's the memory mode, remembering the last one that I used, so let's start with the Firefly mode. Nothing really visible with Firefly mode there. <laughs> this thing is so tiny, it's crazy. 15 lumens. You get to see, I, I would say that it's a, a very floody type of light for you guys that are looking for more a flawed rather than throw. I think you will be happy enough with it. And then of course on, yeah, it really goes, I mean it goes crazy on, on high. 162 lumens, I, I mean you do get to see that it's it's very very bright. I don't have any of the technical stuff so as to measure lumen output and such. I usually uh, check a um, candle power forum which is my go-to uh, forum for everything re related to flashlight. Those guys um, 
you know, they, they are obsessed with flashlights and they go by some of the things that they uh, run and test. Uh, according to what they say there, uh, through night is pretty accurate with the amount of lumens that they're getting out of their flashlights. So if it's not 162 lumens, it's, it's for sure very, very close. And I, I, mean, I mean, yeah, it is very, very bright. Uh, very wide hotspot. The color is very nice. Um, the TN4A had a little bit, a little bit more of a, of a greener tint. I'm not sure if it was a cool white or, um, or, or what, but this one has a, a I'd say, a, as far as I can tell, it's very much a, a nice neutral, maybe neutral to, uh, yeah, it's not cool. Definitely a, a neutral type of white, according to what I'm seeing, and just you know here bouncing it off the wall the, this wall has a little bit more of a creamy color the ceiling is white I don't get to see anything maybe a little bit more of a you know a, a creamy color if anything but very neutral white color comparison sakes you're going to be using the Olight with maximum output of 80 lumens which just looks <laughs> pitiful in comparison this is amazing you see, 80 lumens, Olight, light, latest gen, XPG2 on the left, newest through night T on the right, using the latest Cree LED, the XP-LV4. 50% more efficiency according to Cree. I'd say, yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's definitely a brighter. It's, um, you know, one of those differences that it, you see it's noticeable. So uh, this baby is going to be going into my, my keychain. And yeah, is, is it getting, yeah, maybe a little bit warm, but yeah, <laughs> understandably so. Oh, let's check the hidden mode of the strobe, which was one, two, after cycling. There you have the, the strobe mode in case you need it. Uh, why is it hidden? A lot of people don't like the strobe and I, I'm not crazy. I mean, I like having it in case you need it for an emergency and you, can, you need to signal a, a little bit. It is an, an added function that I do like to have whenever possible. Uh, for a keychain flashlight, maybe you're not using it as much, but still nice to have. Folks, uh, I absolutely love it. I don't know if, if you get to um, you see it, but I, I do love it. Yes, it has a, a clip. The clip is reversible. It goes in either position, depending which one you want uh, to use. And when you use it in this way, you can actually use it in combination with a, uh, with a hat. You know, if you put it like this with a baseball cap, you can use it as a little headlamp, especially because it's so light that it will have no problem whatsoever staying in that position. Very bright for any uh, utility type of task or with those you know, 160 lumens, nuts. Crazy the amount of light this little guy puts out. Folks, that's all for now. I'm going to be leaving the links below for you guys who find it in, in Through Night and Amazon and such. Guys, take care. Have a great new year. See you on our next video. Take care.